Hey YouTubers and gamers, today we are going to be doing a review of the Lego, Lego something or other, Emerald Knight Train. Now, let me start off by saying, this is an okay set. Uh, there's just so many ups and downs about it. I'm not sure which one, you know, is more important. I mean, there are a lot of bad sides to this set and a lot of good sides. So let me start off with the bad sides. Um, for one, let's start out with this. I'm going to disconnect the train. And so you get just the engine for a few seconds. You see this? See how these things are all stiff? They just don't rotate well. Now, I'm pretty sure it's actually a building problem on my part. Why they're so stiff, but otherwise, I just... Oh, it's not friendly. It's just... It's mean the way they do that. And... Yeah, so that's the only problem with this thing. Otherwise, otherwise, it's pretty good. I'll get to the pros of this later in the review. Next car. The... What do you call it? Tenderbox? Something or other? I used to be a big train fanatic and whatnot, but I've sort of lost that over the years. But I still think I know a little terminology. So, it's, it's, it's awesome. I don't actually have a single con with it. Other than that when this set came, and this is not... I did a little edit here. See this little slant piece? This one little one right here? That used to be a little red signal box thing on the back, and it had this ugly dark red piece that just clashed with the color combo... Like, oh, it clashed worse than a medieval fight. And, um, sounds like something that would happen in a Family Guy episode where they mention that, and then it goes to a medieval fight scene. But for real, it just looked so ugly, I had a spare black slope piece, so I had to use it there, because, I mean, it just looked terrible otherwise. And also, I put coal in here, which are actually just, like, solid black minifigure heads. Why, you ask? Because there's an ugly light gray piece at the bottom of there, and it just oh, it kills the flow of the engine, so I had to rip that out. It was just terrible. Onto the train car, which is actually an amazing train car, and I do not have that many faults with it whatsoever, other than, other than this. There is no door. You can see dead to the other end of this thing. Just through here. Now, that isn't cool. I mean, think of all the passengers that are trying to walk, and then all of a sudden the train hits a bump, and a freaking person flies out that door and dies in a bloody train massacre. I mean, that's a hypothetical scenario, but, you know, what if? That's just, that is a train railroad violation safety hazard right there. Uh, but no, for real, I do not mind it that much. Uh, one other thing, this isn't a major con, it's just sort of a con. You can remove this to see the inside, and I, I, I just don't get why they even have locking in studs here. I mean, couldn't they just have, you know, made it one of those things that if you tip it upside down, it'll fall straight out, like one with no studs, but it locks in there if, like, say, everything but the outer late, the outer rim was like up a notch. I can't explain this well. It, it's in a lot of Lego Star Wars sets where there's nothing actually holding it in. It's just fat on the inside so it sort of is stuck there. Uh, I don't know. If, if you know a better way to word that, put it in the comments because I'm just too lazy to word that well. But I know a lot of you Lego Star Wars fans or other Lego fans out there would probably know a better way to make that into a terminology description. Uh, like the way I just worded that terribly. Now, let's go on to the pros. Let's start with this, because it's here. Awesome doors. Awesome doors. They open on all sides. I'm not going to do the fourth door, because I'm too lazy. But, you know, that's awesome. Pretty free rolling. Oh, and this. Sorry, there's dust. I have not played with this thing for, like, months. I got this, like, a year ago for my birthday. Um... Yeah, awesome. I love this. This is good detail. It's slick. It's sleek. It's nice. Inside of train car. 
Two little minifigures. Glass cup. There's a red one somewhere. I just can't find it. And something really small. Let me just get it pulled out so you can see. See, it starts out right here. It's actually a little little waiter thingy. And out comes the removable tray I just broke off right here. So yeah, don't do that. You're not supposed to break it off, but um, I did. So yeah, cool car. I like it. It's not great, but you know what? It's, it's there. And actually, one thing about that passenger car, even though I don't like it a lot, I still think they should have um, actually... I like it enough that I think they should have added a second. Because one car looks pretty lonely, and I think they should have put a few extra minifigures in. A few extra minifigures in another car for this set. Another passenger car. Pros on this thing. Awesome door. I can't open it, because if I do all these little coal pieces I added, are going to fly out like freaking bombs, and I don't want to do that. Uh, free rolling. It's awesome. Uh, yeah, that's all there really is, feature-wise, on this little guy. Giant engine of doom. But no, seriously, this thing is beast. This is the bomb of Lego trains, in a good way. Um, yeah, you know, you got your little headlight, which is cute. Good detail accuracy. Uh, under it. A lot of cool, complex stuff going on here. Um, by the way, the stiffness of my wheels is probably caused by something in the in the in the gear technic thing here. But I'm too lazy to figure that out. Um, ingenious model design. Getting this long string piece to fit dead in there so it won't wobble about and it looks totally straight. You got your little engineer figure in there, shoveling coal. And aside from that. A little fire thing and his trusty trusty shovel for shoveling the coal. Uh yeah, I like how they made this slant. This cool sideways slant. And all these other cool little building things that I'm very impressed with that I myself would never have thought of. Like how to build this, all these nice sleek pieces, and these new pieces. Printed on molded like curve pieces that just oh they look awesome I I salute you Lego for building that that's just fantastic and so there's that um I like how these things roll when they do roll and not when they're being stiff Duh's. that's gonna be how I describe them they are stiff that's because they frustrate me so much but other than that, you know, great set, works on the thing, like on the Lego track. And that actually brings up another very, very important bullet point about this set. There are absolutely no train tracks included whatsoever in this set. And as you can see, I've gotten into this review now, so I'm fully hyped up about it, and I've sort of gotten off my cold feet on the start of the review. And let me just... Getting near the end of this review, finished by saying, no train tracks. I mean, what the heck? We pay about, what, I got this for 80 bucks. Normally you pay about 100 bucks for this set. And they don't include a freaking track piece. It needs track to run. You don't see trains going on freaking roads. It needs track. And if I don't see track, I do not see a train... That can move like a train. I see a freaking freewheeler, and that ain't cool with a train. So, I think the biggest two problems with this set is, A, the, the stiff joints on that engine, and, B, let me just get it re-hooked up here, because I, when I finish this set review, it ought to be the complete set. There we go. It's a pretty big bad boy. But no, that, and the no train track thing. I mean, I think they should have included... Let me show you over here. I got a ring of train track, by the way. Sorry for all my Bionicles and Venator Class Republic Attack Cruiser in the middle there. You can also check out that review on my YouTube. But the train tracks there, I got that. So anyways, I do recommend this set, though, with all the other faults. Um, and that's the end of the review, I guess.
Be sure to check out my blog, my GamerRob.wordpress thing for video game reviews, because gosh knows this ain't a video game review. Um, and yeah. And check out my other Lego, Bionicle, Technic, you know, etc. toy reviews on my YouTube. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe, and all that other good stuff.